Hey guys, welcome back. In this lesson, I want to go over energy model settings, energy analysis, and different settings that you may need to set for your specific project. For this lesson, we're going to use the basic sample project that comes with Revit again, because what's great about it is that a lot of the little nitpicky, fiddly details that go into creating a project from scratch have already been dealt with, so it's ideal for playing around with these different settings and learning how they work. So if you go up to the Analyze tab, you'll see a whole series of different tests and analyses that you can possibly run. If this were a structural analysis, you might establish loads, including load cases and load combinations. You could also set boundary conditions. You can do different analytical reports and checks. Just a wide variety of different tests that let you see if your building can withstand the elements and different loads. And these can include snow loads, wind loads, seismic loads. So from the point of view of a structural engineer, you can test and double check all these different parameters under the Analyze tab. There are also different reports you can run for an HVAC engineer. There's heating and cooling loads, there's different schedules, duct pressure systems, pipe checks, all different tests directly under Revit. You have all sorts of tools available to you within Revit so that you don't have to access outside software as long as the information you put in is correct. And again, this is because Revit is a business information modeling software. So whatever information you put into Revit is what you're able to extract from it. But for the purposes of today's lesson, I want to focus mainly on the energy analysis tools that come with Revit. Now, if you click on energy settings, you'll see a variety of parameters. There's building type, which you can always change if you need to. There's a location, which you can either set from your energy settings here, or again, you can set it from under your manage tab, where you can also set your coordinates and your position if you need to. But now if we go back into our energy settings, you'll see that we can set our ground plane, our export category, just a wide variety of different analytical settings that you have, and even different HVAC settings that you might wind up wanting to use that are just basic systems put in place. And again, what's great about Revit is that it actually takes into account all these different features. It takes into account your general location. So when you run this analysis, and you can do that by clicking this Run Energy Simulation button, the first prompt will be for you to log in. Now I'm currently logged in under my own personal username, so if I go up and sign out of my account, and then go back and select Run Energy Simulation, it'll ask me to sign into my account. Now once I've finished signing into my account, you'll see that a whole series of statistics and analytical details are produced from Autodesk. So all those different data elements that you're trying to figure out, how efficient your building is, by using the Autodesk Energy Settings and Simulation Analysis, you'll receive an entire report based upon your specific location and all the different data that you put into the model. So you'll find data like annual carbon emissions, you'll find annual energy use and cost. So you can calculate how much energy your building is going to be using over a given period of time. You can see fuel use, electricity use, monthly heating loads, there's cooling loads, fuel consumption, and all of this is calculated based on your specific model and location. So designing your building with efficiency in mind will actually have a direct impact on these reports. You'll also see weather patterns, monthly design data, temperature bins, and all sorts of general environmental and weather data based on your location. All of this data will be useful for the architect, the interior designer, structural engineer, every member of the team, so that you can all create the best project you can catered towards your specific needs. Alright, so again, if you click on the energy settings, which is located under the analyze tab, you can modify all of these settings. 
and then you can also run a results and comparison analysis. So if you have a variety of design options, you can actually see at a glance what the differences will be. This will let you make better decisions, both for your client and for yourself as a designer. Alright, that's it for energy settings. I'll see you in the next tutorial.